Welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to for that floor, this floor, there's another floor right there and there's actually just a little bitty one down the hill. Not sure if we're going to hit it or not, but it should be a fun one because we had to have a new remote system put in the truck and I'm not real familiar with these because they're awfully touchy so it's gonna be a learning curve for me here right off the get-go so I got the truck set up I already had the hose on it and I've actually got the liquid prime in and uh, hopefully we'll get going here pretty soon got my camera today so I'll probably do a little time lapse on the outrigger see how that goes and when I get done, I'm gonna try and make it back over for some drill shafts, 11 of them. Uh, if Greg, Greg is down doing a bridge, they started at about four o'clock this morning. So we're, we're kinda seeing who gets done first, so. Once again, so <clears throat> I'm out of Bullinger Mill now. It's an old historic bridge, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're doing some drill shafts. They've got a uh, sucker truck out here, vacuum truck, whatever you want to call it. And uh, he's going to be sucking the water up out of these drill shafts and the slurry on top. So I think I can put a camera. I got a, a real good spot. I can put a camera and probably do a little hyperlapse or our video some too but they're like 20 foot deep not very deep so uh got a 20 foot hose on there and uh hopefully everything will go pretty good but let me flip the video around here i'll kind of show you what they got going on right now i'm taking a cooling break in the truck since it's like 90 something out but so there right there is the historic bridge which is pretty cool it's a old uh covered wooden bridge and uh and then they're trying to get this truck right here situated right now so uh, but those shafts are right there in that area it's like 60 something yards and uh, they just don't want to get uh, they don't want to get that slurry water down in that creek right there so uh, you know they, they're pretty strict on stuff like that around here in this area so either way we'll get this going here a little bit I think I may put the Maybe like a time-lapse camera up here on that post. Something like that, maybe. Uh, and then I may just video the rest from the phone every now and then down there in the bottom because uh, these are basically, you put the hose in there and raise it up off the bottom a little bit and pump concrete, so nothing too eventful, but it's kind of cool. Also, last week, we actually got a new receiver and remote for the pump which we are going to get that remote rebuilt so that we have a loaner basically or our own remote for the trucks we can run that on the 32 and the 38 since those are four sections but we did get a new receiver a new remote trucks running good i don't quite like how the truck slews so i may uh 
I may get the little battery to, to fine tune that a little bit to, to what I like, but uh, everything's working good. It pumped good this morning, and uh, I'm going to show you all where I've got that mounted. It's pretty cool. The box was pretty little that we got, and we mounted it under the passenger seat, and now we got an antenna on top of the roof. So a little bit different, but uh, it works, and as long as it pumps concrete, that's all that matters. We ran that wire through, we pulled it, we came down the truck frame, we tried to avoid everything we could to be a pinch point or a rub, and we mounted it underneath the seat, so now we got our plug right there, and we ran our wire up the side, and now we have our antenna up on top, so a little bit different setup, but once again, it works. And that's what we're going for. So concrete ought to be getting out here pretty soon. Get this thing going. They're gonna test the air. The air the other day must have been off pretty bad. So hopefully they'll get this thing going and air will be right. I know it's like 90 something degrees out here, but you gotta eat. If I don't know if anybody's ever got these or not, but these works slick and uh that's my little portable oven people laugh at me for it but plug it in your cigarette lighter put a little bit of water down in the bottom of that thing put your little aluminum pan in there i got a little one you can put a bigger one in and uh, about 45 minutes or an hour if you've got frozen food out of the deep freeze you put that in here about an hour you are good to go and uh believe it or not i even had rotel one day and the cheese sat in there for two hours two hours never burnt the cheese so brats today there's all of our holes here we got we got those and they're covered up and they got a few more there that are covered up so there's the bridge that's a lot of uh people that come out for weddings and that is a big time photo opportunity very pretty place out here now this is the actual uh the old mill and they're actually going to take a now there's a turbine in there they're going to take the turbine out and they got one uh they do have one on order a new one so they're going to fix this up get this back into running and uh running condition and uh it's a it's a big tourism deal, so. You better get you out there. So these are water filled shafts, and they had to start from the bottom, and you had to keep the hose down in the mud, pump the water out to uh, do these correctly. So this one here didn't have too much water in it at all. So. We shut it off and that's it. It's full. Find it. One on the hook. We'll see if we can get him out. Truck stuck. It got stuck down there in the mud. 
really soft. So now they brought out the actual sucker truck, packing truck. So hopefully this one will get it done. This is it. I've got one more truck. He's over there, been super PN. And uh, this truck here has done an excellent job really uh, sucking that water out of those holes. Uh, they're gonna drain a little water off that blue truck. And uh, I've got about a half a hole to go. Hey, once again, thank you all for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, share it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one.